Hey everyone, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. So if you want to fit in eight hours of work into six hours of your time, you just gotta do things a bit differently, right? But the good news is things don't have to be complicated for them to have big impact. So today we're going over some simple life hacks and also some software solutions that have drastically improved my performance and we have personally seen a lot of benefit from. Hope you find them helpful and in the spirit of this video, not gonna waste your time. So let's dive right in. All right, number one, and this one is of major importance. Have a dedicated workspace because that will really help you to find focus. So if you're working from home, that could be your own desk or if you're lucky enough to have an extra room, that could be your office. Um, but personally, I also prefer leaving the house some days a week. So that's why I'm going to a co-working space. And today I actually got some footage prepared where I take you with me so that you get a feeling for what that looks and let's go. Yeah, then you just take out your laptop and you start working and this place in particular is also amazing because it's open 24 7 so you can go whenever you want and you can also meet other like-minded people um, other freelancers people working in startups and it only costs 100 bucks a month which is actually a steal for an office place it's even deductible from taxes so it actually costs less than that and if you build the habit of working in one place it becomes really easy to switch into work mode as soon as you get there and then it also becomes very easy to switch off as soon as you leave which is equally important in my opinion all right, number two, have a clean desk. And this ties into staying organized as well as avoiding distractions. Um, to some degree, I also believe that how you do one thing is how you do everything. So staying organized and organizing my work starts right there. And then for certain tasks, it can also be helpful if you have a second monitor. Um, personally, I got one of these ultra wides, but yeah, in all honesty, I just got it because I thought it looks cool. And maybe we wanna call this one an impulse purchase. Two regular monitors would have done the trick equally as good, I guarantee it. All right, number three, and this is a constant battle. Avoid distractions and interruptions. And this one might actually surprise you, but while working in the agency or also while working as a freelancer, no client ever got my phone number. And you might be thinking, okay, that's weird. Isn't this supposed to be a service business? Yes, 100%. And I'm not saying I don't speak to clients on the phone, but they can't just randomly call me. So it's always gonna be a planned video call. And if you wanna get away with that, you also have to communicate that right because it's actually good for your clients because yeah, let's just imagine I would be working on your website and then 10 other people call me in the process. Obviously then I couldn't focus as good and it would affect the quality of my work. So that's exactly how you communicate that. But yeah, that's just one aspect of it. Um, you also wanna have all push notifications off. So this would be on your phone, on your laptop, uh, no messenger, no emails no social media, no push notifications whatsoever, zero. And instead you wanna set time aside where you pull the information. So there could be a 30 minute block for just emails, but you never wanna get interrupted by push notifications. Another aspect could then be avoiding social media during work time. Um, so you may wanna log out of all of your accounts or you could also block certain services or platforms or domains during work times if that helps. And if you have to use certain platforms because it's work related, then I would try to limit the platform to only the features that you need. So for example, in my case, that's YouTube. Sometimes I just need to look things up or do something channel related. But I got this Chrome extension, which basically removes all the suggested videos. So my homepage is completely empty. And that's just because the YouTube algorithm is so good that it gets me eight out of 10 times. And I just need to have a system in place that covers my back when I'm not paying attention. And then there's also this quote by James Clear, author of the book, Atomic Habits. And it goes like, you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. So he's basically saying that we all have weak moments or we all like motivation sometimes. And then you just need these systems that cover your back. And yeah, if you go to a co-working space, no one can call you, no push notifications, no social media. What else is really left to do except putting in the work? Not much. All right, then let's move on with number four on the list, a quick one, prioritizing your tasks. And what that means is that you try to identify the one or two most important things. And then you also try to work on these first, which is a lot easier said than done because there's always things coming left and right. But one thing that I find very helpful is to write my to-do list the evening before, which also comes down to energy management because I try to avoid decision-making during the day. And you can also try to organize the tasks in the best order for you. So for example, I like to do focus intense things in the morning. They could be coding or strategic things. Um, then administrative work in the afternoon, 
emails, for example. And if I got some creative work, I would rather prefer doing that in the evening. All right, next one on the list is energy management. And this one is interesting because a lot of people talk about time management, but then very few talk about energy management. And a few things I try to do here is get up a bit earlier between six and 8 a.m. Personally, I find that I'm most productive in the first four or five hours of being awake. And then food is also really important. Um, I'm not an expert on this and I also don't try to be one. The only thing I do pay attention to is that I try to eat more long chain carbohydrates for breakfast. So this is like more complex sugars and it takes your body a bit longer to break these down. So then blood sugar raises more steadily, also declines more steadily, as opposed to eating more simple sugars where the blood sugar spikes and then it also crashes. So I'm trying to avoid that. And for my morning routine, the only thing that matters to me is that it's quick. So I don't want to get up at 4 a.m. and then meditate and ice bath and whatnot. <laughs> so I'm basically just taking a shower and then making breakfast. And then for breakfast, I would do two or three slices of bread, a couple of cashew nuts, pistachios, walnuts, two or three dates and half of an avocado. And this takes like five minutes to make, costs $3. And yeah, I've been eating this almost every single day for the past two years or so. Then I also think doing sports is pretty important. But personally, I'm not a big fan of going to the gym on a regular because I just think it's too repetitive and a bit boring to me. So I like doing things like kickboxing, bouldering, and just sports that are more like fun activities and add a bit of variety, if that makes sense. All right, then lastly, I also want to touch a bit on software solutions that have helped me tremendously, but I guess it also depends a bit on your situation. So number one is Calendly, which is basically an embedded calendar for booking calls or meetings. So this saves you from all the back and forth about availabilities. And it's also very handy in terms of different time zones because the conversion happens automatically. And we also use that for free mode so that people can book a free strategy call prior to joining the program. So if you're serious about becoming a developer, go ahead and book your free call. Number two would be Git to stay organized with your projects and keep track of all the code changes. This is especially important as soon as you start to work with more clients. And then third, as soon as you work with more clients, you may also want to use a project management tool like Asana so that you could have one board per client and then all the tasks there uh, really helps you with staying organized. Then I'm also a big fan of Loom videos. So it's a service that allows you to send small video clips to team members or clients. So you can use that to answer questions, explain things, give feedback and so forth. And sometimes videos just faster communication, more input. And yeah, I'm a big fan of that tool. And lastly, if you really want to scale your freelancing business, maybe even into an agency, then at some point you should definitely use a CRM like Pipedrive and they will help you to stay organized with different clients and could be the foundation for a systemized sales process, which would be really important. All right, that's it for today. And I'm sure this was a ton of input, but if you can take away one or two things and then implement them for yourself, that would be amazing. And you can also let me know your favorite productivity hacks in the comments. I would be very curious. And beyond that, have an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.